Three men suspected of starting a wildfire in the state of California have been arrested. Nearly 2,000 people have been forced to leave their homes. Helicopters have been helping to put out the flames. And on the ground, hundreds of firefighters have been trying to protect the homes. But at least 22 buildings have been destroyed, including five houses. It came almost out of nowhere, but within just a few hours had swept through hundreds of acres. I'm going to have to back up right now because part of my camera is starting to melt. What they call the Colby Fire, driven by strong winds, scorching its way across land left bone dry by the worst drought here for decades. With that load, and there he goes, 241 up. Wow, that's great. Crews called in super scooper aircraft to attack the fire from the sky as hundreds of firefighters on the ground tried to keep the flames away from neighborhoods. We did receive a call from a citizen who advised that uh, two people suspiciously were walking away from the fire. Our officers responded. Uh, Corporal Miranda found them, uh, detained them. Uh, there was a third person who was, uh, who was given a ride down from Glendora Mountain Road, taken out of the, the fire danger area by U.S. Forest Service. That person as well subsequently was detained. All three of those people are currently in the Glendora City Jail. They've been, all three have been booked for recklessly starting a fire. Their bail is set at $20,000. We're worried about the smoke, but it's great to see the neighbors pitch in here and just uh, take the first step. And uh, virtually they saved this house right over here just by putting the palm trees out and keeping the hoses on them. So it's a great effort by all the neighbors. It's really exciting to see everybody pitch in and just become a family. Uh, we don't have a specific number of evacuees right now. We do have some hard evacuations uh, that, are, that have been in a place since this morning. And we're continuing to evaluate uh, vulnerable areas and we're getting a plan in place in case we do need to evacuate more.